What's up guys, it's Gaxi and today we're going to be talking about the top 5 cards you should get to get ready for Sex of the World. But before we start, make sure you guys leave a like if you guys do enjoy this series. Also, comment down below any cards you think I missed or I just should have mentioned. And I'll probably feature them in the next video, but yeah, let's get right into the video. Now, the last few episodes I've done, most of the cards I like are really hard cards to get. They're usually like URs or something like that. And nobody really complained about them, but today I'm going to be trying to give you guys some more cards that are easier to obtain. Now the first card we're going to be talking about is actually going to be Enemy Controller. This is actually a really good card even right now, for free to play players especially. You can actually go and get a copy of Enemy Controller just by farming up Sato Kaiba dual reward all you have to do is go to the gate duel him and you'll be able to get it pretty easily now the reason why enemy controller is so good is because if your opponent attacks, you can actually target that face up monster and put it into defense it just changes the battle position even if the monster is in defense and you want it in attack you can actually just you can actually target it and change the battle position which is actually really good but that's not even the effect we're here for the other effect is tribute one monster then target one face up monster your opponent controls and take control of that monster so pretty much if you have a monster, you can tribute it to take control of your opponent's monster, and then you can activate your level duplication skill, make it whatever level of the monster you have in hand, summon that monster, and then you can XYC summon right there, and you will be taking care of your opponent's monster, maybe clearing up the field if that's like the only monster they have, and you're also going to bring out an XYC monster so he's not going to get anything back. So that's actually a really good card, make sure you guys go farm it up. Or you can even use tickets on it, just, just make sure you guys don't use any SR Dream tickets on it because I did that the first time I started playing this game, sadly, but yeah, let's get into the next card. Now the next card is actually a monster, it's going to be a Blackwing, it's going to be Blackwing the Steam Cloak, and the reason why I say this card is going to be actually really good is because if this card leaves the field, whether it's destroyed, tributed, or anything like that, you can actually special summon one Steam token. Now that token is a level 1, I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to activate the level duplication scale on that token, but that's not even the effect we're here to talk about, we're actually going to be talking about the other effect where you can actually tribute one face up monster on the field, whether it's its token or any other monster you control, and you can special summon this card from the graveyard. Now, now the downside is that that effect is only once per duel, but it's actually really good because every time it leaves the field, no matter how it is, you just bring in the token, so even if you can't bring him back himself, you can actually just keep bringing back the token and not just that he's actually a tuner so worst comes to worst you need to black rose you can use him to just black rose or whatever synchro you may need so this is going to be a really good card tuners like this are going to be amazing and just any card in general that brings out a token that's actually going to be really good and continuous traps and things like that those are going to be really good for sex of world so yeah make sure you guys stock up on those cards you can actually obtain steam the cloak from the aerial assault box now the good thing is that it's a rare so it's not going to be so hard to get. Next card we're going to be talking about is a trap card, it's called Cloning. When your opponent summons a monster, you can pretty much bring out a copy of that monster. It's going to bring you out a token and it's going to have the same attack, same attribute, same defense, same everything as that monster. Now the downside to this is that you activate it on your opponent's turn and you have to figure out a way to keep that monster alive. And then next turn you can just summon a monster and you'll just be able to XYC summon right there. Now there's another downside to this card. When that target is destroyed, meaning when your opponent with monster gets destroyed, your token gets destroyed too. So, in a way, it's actually really good because if your opponent summons a really big monster, you can just copy that monster. And the only way for your opponent to get past that token would be to suicide attack or maybe get a boost or something. But me personally, I have this card in mind just for uh, XYC summoning, which it can still be good for. Uh, you just need some other back row to like keep it alive and things like that. But you can actually get cloning, this is a free to play card, you can get it from Seto Kaiba too, so you can actually get enemy controller and cloning, and those are really good cards, I feel like they're going to be good for Sex of World. Now this card that we're going to be talking about is actually a UR from a box, so it's not that easy to get, but you can actually get another copy by getting the Gladiator B structure deck, the Gladiator Storm. But it's originally from the Stardust Acceleration box. And what this card does, if you control no monsters, you can special summon with level 4 or lower normal monsters. So that's the downside that it has to be a normal monster. You don't really want to be running normal monsters in your decks because effects actually help you out a lot. And normal monsters can be considered a break, I feel like, because your opponent is pretty much easily going to overpower them. And they don't have an effect to protect them or just do anything in general. They're kind of useless. But Unexpected Die is actually really good. If you control normal monsters, you special summon a, a tuner from the deck or just any normal monster. And then from there you can XYC you summon. And the reason why I had tuners stuck in my head was because of Genix controller. It's going to be actually a really good card. You're going to be able to use it for both synchro summoning 
and you can actually use it for XYZ. So you can just activate unexpected die, bring out the Genix controller, and then summon whatever monster you have. Or if you're going for XYZ summon, you can actually just activate your level duplication scale. And from there you just actually XYZ summon. Or you can actually even do that same play but just for a synchro summon. So this is going to be a really good card, especially if you're going to be pairing it with unexpected die. Genix controller is a machine tuner, so yeah. Now the last card I want to talk about is going to be Canadia. Now before I forget, Canadia and Unexpected Die were both suggested by Sentai over on my Discord server. He does come in on my video sometimes, so make sure you guys go show Sentai some love. If he doesn't come in on the video, go and join my Discord server and show Sentai some love. He's really good at Yu-Gi-Oh! He helps me out with my decks and if you guys join the Discord server, we can actually help you guys with your decks or just anything you need in general. So yeah, make sure you guys join my Discord server. But yeah, Palazoid Canadian is actually going to be a really good card. I forgot to mention, but enemy controller could do the same thing. If your opponent summons two monsters, you can actually just target that face up monster with Canadia and put it face down. And that way you're going to be preventing your opponent from either synchro summoning or even XYC summoning. Now the reason why I say enemy controller is actually going to be good for that same thing is because you can tribute your monster during your opponent's turn and then take control of one of his and that way he won't be able to XYC summon so it's actually going to be really good. Now there's another plus side to this card. When a trap card is activated while this card is in the graveyard, you can special summon it as a normal monster. It's going to be a level 2 but you can actually just use level duplication, bring it up to 4 and summon another level 4 monster and then you can XYC right there. Not just that, you can actually just use it for protection. If your opponent wipes out your field and you just have Canadian in the graveyard, one of you guys activates a trap and you have a monster on the field. Now this card cannot be affected by opponent's monster, so your opponent won't be able to destroy it with Raikiri or just anything like that. So Canadian is actually going to be a really good card. Now the downside is that it's a UR from a box, so it's going to be tough to get. It's from the Valiant Souls, but it's still a really good card if you have like some extra UR dream tickets you could definitely get some Canadias. Even in the current meta they're actually really good because it's a water monster so you can just pair it up with invokes, bring it back and then summon Aliesa or go into your Kokaitis. This is usually what I suggest when people ask me what to get with their UR dream ticket. This or Floodgate they're pretty much the same effect but you know Canadia has a better effect because it comes back onto the field. But Floodgate also is good because it keeps the opponent monster face down. But yeah guys, those are the top 5 cards you should be getting to get ready for Sex World. If you guys think I missed any, make sure you guys comment them down below. And also like I said earlier, if you guys do enjoy these type of videos, make sure you guys leave a like and I'll continue on with the series. Or maybe even if you don't like it or you didn't like the video, hit a dislike just so I know how the video is doing and what you guys think about it. But yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.